Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. First Peter chapter 5 verses 7. Hello family, everyone welcome back to the Lovey Starch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. The aroma of freshly baked bread cannot be compared to anything else. It is pure joy and absolute pure joy. Join me as I show you how easy it is to make your own homemade bread. Ghana tea bread happens to be one of my favorite bread recipes because of how easy it is to make. You do not need any machine. All you need are your hands and very few ingredients. This is so easy to follow. So I want you to just stay tuned and relax and you're going to make your own tea bread after this recipe let's get started so these are the list of ingredients very very easy i have here three cups of all-purpose flour you can use hard flour if you are in ghana and i also have two tablespoons of sugar a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of nutmeg half cup of melted butter 14 grams of instant dry and yeast, some lukewarm water so i'm now going to add my salt to the flour and mix everything together before i go in with my nutmeg and instant dry yeast and the sugar this is because i do not want the instant dry yeast to come into direct contact with the salt the yeast always prove faster with direct contact with the sugar instead so this is exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to mix everything up and then go in with my melted salted butter all right At this point, I had to go in with my hands because the whisk wasn't doing the job. <laughs> okay, so that is why I told you this recipe, all you need are your hands, no machine, and you're good to go. Okay, mix everything and then go in with water it's best for you to go in with the water bit by bit because that's the only way you're going to know the exact texture you are going for it might end up being runny and that's not what you're looking for i ended up using quarter liter of water so you just have to know okay just go in bit by bit and you should know this texture is what we are going for the one you're seeing at your screens all right and also it has to be lukewarm all right so now it's time for me to clear up the surface it is important to use a very clean surface okay so now what we're coming to do is to knead the bread and we have to have a little bit of flour on the surface and this is what we're going to do okay we're going to create some gluten some strands of gluten in this bread gluten is what makes this bread very you know stretchy all right so this is not a gluten free recipe it has gluten it has to have that gluten that is what makes it extra extra good and more authentic okay so you need to go ahead and stretch the bread as you see so you need to be also slapping this bread on the surface for about five to seven minutes you just want to make sure that you're slapping it for about 20 times okay it is very very good for the bread and now that we are done with the kneading it's not too much as i said do this few steps and you're good to go so now that we're done with it we're going to allow the dough to rest for about 30 minutes or until it's double ups in size just as you see on your screens it is very fluffy now if you touch it it is not as tough as it used to be that is a good so sign now is the perfect time for us to shape our bread and as we all know tea bread comes with a lot of dusty flour so i'm now going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on my oven form and go ahead and create my beautiful authentic Ghanaian tea bread it is so easy to create this shape you can actually create it in any form you like we've always known that tea bread comes in a long form but you can absolutely as i said shape it into any form the taste is going to be the same when it's round horizontal or just 
square any shape at all all right but i'm going to go ahead and make it into the authentic ones all so right? i'm cutting the doughs into three equal shapes and that is what i'm going to work with i'm going to now go ahead and flatten it as i said you do not need any kind of machine all you need is your hands honestly your hands will do the magic all right so just pay attention to the screens and do exactly that all right so 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 very easy Please fam, if you are loving what you're seeing, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. It just gives me motivation to create more of these videos, okay? And also comment below and share to a few friends and family as well, all right? You just have to flatten the dough just as I did and I did with my hands. I didn't even use the roller. It is so easy with this recipe. I cannot stretch that enough and you just go ahead and roll it up as you see on the screens it is so easy you can literally close your eyes and make these bread all right so we are we are done with the first one i'm going to go ahead and continue with the second and the third does this look like something you can do i answer absolutely yes it is just so so easy so go for it so now that we are done creating all the shapes i'm going to sprinkle a lot more of the flour and again i'm going to go ahead and cover it and allow this to rest until they also double up in size very very easy this should take you about 30 to 45 minutes not more okay that is absolutely beautiful just so like now that. i have my oven preheated at 170 degrees and i'm going to put this in and allow it to bake for 15 good minutes all right so so easy fun i am just in love with this so after exactly 15 minutes this is what we have absolutely gorgeous i am just so in love the aroma is just so so good all you want to do is eat them all but you know what it's very hot so just allow it to cool down a little bit before you enjoy it oh my goodness you can easily enjoy this with some butter and uh, you're good to go it's so good but i was craving for some chibo so i just had to fix this quick i had some sausages and just some red onions a little bit of seasoning you may also use just salt and you're good to go oh we are going to fry these babies absolute delicacy and the aroma of the fried eggs freshly baked bread oh that morning was just the best <laughs> the kids absolutely love love this Ghanaians and eggs when will this stop <laughs> <laughs> this was just so 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 good and just look at our bread they were just perfection it was just so so good look at that just have a look at that out of this world and it was just so so soft as you can see and the crust was beautifully brown and it was so enjoyable just look how easy it is for you to break i had to make some hot chocolate and it always always best with your milo and needle memories overload oh, this was just beautiful aroma everywhere in this house was just so pretty <laughs> so there you have it family i hope you really 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 going to try this tea bread recipe it is so so easy very simple to follow and you're going to get it right do not doubt yourself you can make it and let me tell you it's a beautiful feeling to be able to make your own bread at home thank you so much family for watching i really really appreciate your time please do not forget to give me a thumbs up share with your friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from love you Start. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please Please come on board and subscribe.
<laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week. Thank you so very much, family, for watching once again. And please do not forget that you are so beautiful just the way you are. See you in my next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.